Previously on Drake Paragon. In Newport Harbor. I think this is just a beautiful place to sail. I think fine. you're really going to enjoy fine, it. Fine, yeah, Okay. Looks like maybe an Olsen 25. I think she might still be dragging. I think we'll be fine. Let's hope we're going to be fine. Oh, we're going to drive. we're driving. Don't drive. Woohoo! <laughs> you're sailing, you're sailing! Welcome to Newport. Racing against the sunset to get back to Paragon at anchor before it's too dark. So did you bring the sail bag? Should we put the sail in I did bring the, the bag, bag or Yes, we should. Do you want me to get out? Get out. <laughs> yeah. Piggy docks over on that side. Okay, I, I see the sign says no dinghy landing. Is is that okay? Oh, huh. must have changed it. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's not dinghy dock anymore. This okay. used to be the dinghy dock. The next closest one is St. Anne's Pier, which is all the way on the other end of town. Right. So I'll go find the guy, and I'll oh, ask him. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so we can't tie up here. And we can tie up on the very end where it says no dinghies allowed, but right in front of that sailboat, apparently we can. 12 feet and under. 12 feet and under. No overnights. So this is Bowen's Ferry Landing. Right in... next to Bannister's or The fuel dock is over there. This long. Yeah. From the forward part, like kind of gray building, the landing. And then you yep. just come in right here and it's at the end. Mm-hmm. And then right over here we have one of the many, many poppin' restaurants. And over here we have one of the sailboats that I absolutely love. Pearson Triton. Looks like this one is being taken care of. Wow. A little rubber foot. What year is she, did you say? 1961. 1961. And she's got a wood burning stove there on the starboard side. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I like that color blue for the mask. Non-skid paint. Got those chocks there for a dinghy. He keeps a propane tank right there in the cockpit. <laughs> no smoking allowed. I guess those are just handholds for no other purpose. It's kind of interesting. The custom handholds for. There might uh, be a pipe going through there. Yeah, but what for? Maybe electrical, but. It's interesting handhold to get into the companionway. All of the lines go to right there on the companionway for locking the various that lines. Works when you've got the dinghy on there. Oh yeah, interesting observation. Yeah. Hmm. Tiller steering. She's got a beautiful full keel. These boats have gone around the world. They've traveled across oceans. It has a, a real seaworthy reputation. It combines the fun of sailing a smaller, more maneuverable boat with having something that's incredibly seaworthy. And that is a bracket for an outboard. So anyway, she's a beaut.
how clear this water is. It is incredibly clear, isn't it? just met the guy on this sailboat. He said that he rented this spot for the entire winter. He said it's called a mirage. In production before, the famous J-24 sailboat, he said that the J-24 was made to compete like a lot of fun to sail. Boats still have their shrink wrap on. There's the pump out boat, channel 9. The Siemens Church Institute, I don't really know the deal in much detail, but uh, from what I gather, it was founded a long time ago, and they sort of exist to assist and serve people of the sea, you know, whether that's merchant marines, fishermen, or even cruisers. And here at the Siemens Church Institute wow, building, right yeah, they have showers and laundry and food. Vacancy, they have rooms. Can we go in right here? Yeah. yeah. The Aloha Cafe, the chapel and library, laundry and restrooms. Okay, yeah, me too. be a very convenient place to do laundry, huh? So, I'll wear it tomorrow. Okay. So it looks like a little free area. You think? Yeah. Laundry for people of the sea. <laughs> so while that one's in here, I can show you that the Siemens Church Institute has these showers for cruisers. Put in a, a token and a nice hot shower. Unfortunately, the cafe is closed. 7.30 to 2.30. 7.30 to 2.30, maybe tomorrow. Nice picture of Newport. But this is the Aloha Cafe. Here's the menu. Yeah. Really over $8. yeah. Most breakfast is under $5. Oh, yeah? And then this is the room where you bring your food to eat. Hey, 
you most? Say hi to your fans. <laughs> We're uploading the video because we found a nice Wi-Fi signal right here on the park bench. We are so dependent on Wi-Fi. You know, it's amazing. Email, Facebook, you know, YouTube, news. When we ever go somewhere, we're always looking for free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Especially if it's fast. I look forward to checking out Newport. We really like what we see so far. Here we are. <laughs> Music Hall 1894. Hey, hey. What? Don't get run over. They have a red light. Are going to run the light? Yeah, well, they're going 80 miles an hour. Maybe they don't see the red light. Grandma, how are you going to get across the street? I'm just always thinking about your safety, <laughs> whether we're at sea or crossing the street. Uh -huh. Your safety is my responsibility. Oh, my God. It's like the uh, arcades close. Video game arcade. Oh no, the door's open. There it is. It is open. Want to play a video game? It would make our walk that more varied and interesting. You want to go inside on this beautiful day and no. play video no, games? No, I just can't. Sailing jewelry. That's cool, huh? Would you wear an anchor around your neck? No. <laughs> I might wear one of the other ones. Which ones? Which ones do you like? One of the flags. Flags? Yeah. Go get the blue X. What? We got a, a flag. Oh, 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 made into a necklace. Yeah, or two of them. M-O. An X and the little... Oh. I see. Onward. Onward and upward. So this is really the center, right here. Right by the post office. And the boat show happens right over there. The big tent is, and all around that whole area over there, that's all where the boat show is. Where did they put all of the boats? Uh, there are docks all around where we park the dinghy. Basically, every new place that we go to, I like to send my nieces a postcard. Mm -hmm. So they've got postcards from all over the country and all over the world. And you send your mother shells. Send my mother shells. Because she likes to be by the beach, but she isn't. It says armory, but it's certainly not an armory anymore. Take a peek. What is it? I'm not sure I understand. But... Wow. It's a light ship. Being here before the season starts, it's calm and quiet, just on the verge of starting to get really busy. Doesn't that look like fun, huh? 
I wonder how fast it goes. Oh, probably about as fast as the scooter. 30 bucks for the first hour, $10 for each additional hour. 100 bucks a day for a scooter. Right over there is the wooden boat building school. They build wood boats. That's for I go upstairs, Mom. Love this. So what do you think? Amazing, huh? I love the smell of wood, yeah. So that big box in the center there is for steaming planks so you can bend them. What do you think? It looks like they're all building the same boat, huh? Uh, yeah, it kind of did, didn't it? I wonder if they have to build boat. Hmm. I wonder how many of those people go on to like, find jobs in the wooden boat restoration industry. I wonder how large that industry is. The graduating class of 2011 and there were like two to ten people. The tide is Oh wow, it is. I'm sure it's an optical illusion. Actually, I don't think our center board is going to... I think it's going to be too, too shallow. It certainly looks that way, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> wow. Alright, well, we can still get the rig up. So if you try to sail, without the center board down. You just kind of go all over the place, yeah, right? Yeah, you it, wouldn't be able to, to go straight. You'd be all over the place, exactly. Okay. Okay. And this goes on there. This whole thing is raised up like that. We are racing against the sunset to get back to Paragon at anchor before it's too dark. We do have a light with us. The sun just disappeared over the horizon. We just got the boat all rigged up and we're now underway again. We've got very little wind, probably about five to five to six knots. Maybe not. As you can see the flag over there not showing much wind, but we are moving, aren't we? We are. <laughs> Very slowly. That's okay. Oh, 
when they say sunset sail. They always <laughs> get this sort of romantical oh, uh, we should have some image. Yeah, no, we are actually <laughs> racing as fast well, as we can to get home before it's too any dark. Faster than we're going, as you said, you can't just click a button. Well, yeah, but we can go slower by not paying attention to our form. You're, You're doing... so romantic. <laughs> Do you see Paragon? <laughs> no. I am blind. Oh, okay. I don't have my contacts on, so I can see in front of us, but far away, I can't. Um, I see a bunch of boats. And I'd like to think Paragon is one of them. I'm just sensing in the wind that you could probably point a little bit higher if that's, uh, if you can. setting. Very light air sailing. <laughs> Use the tiller to push the bow to starboard a little bit. Yeah. It's really hoping we weren't gonna have to row. All right, center. Then hold and wait. Let's see if we catch it. No. Not looking like it, is it? Oh well. <laughs> nice try. No sailing. I guess you're probably gonna row for another minute and then the wind will pick up. So where are we? We are the one with the anchor light. We're the only one in the anchorage with an anchor light. You know, it's times like this one, there's absolutely no wind at all that you've got to pay special attention to how the boat swing. Because if there's no wind and no Everyone's current, then drifting. they're just drifting around, floating around. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Another beautiful sunset on the water. You never get tired of them. There's Paragon. And you can see that her anchor light is on because the anchor light has a photo sensor in it so it turns on automatically at dusk. Uh, you take a picture of that boat. What Quickly. boat? That right there. Which one? That one right there. Boom. Get the other picture. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think so? Occasionally. So that wasn't too long of a row. It's not too long of a row when it's nice like this. Mm. I wonder if this dead calm means we're gonna get a blow like tomorrow. Yeah.